In this video, we'll talk about skill, learning, and acquisition. Popular author and motivational psychologist, Heidi Grant Halverson, once said that we must always be getting smarter because being smart is not enough. And one of the keys to success is to be able to learn new skills in the fast-moving, competitive world. Truthfully, in today's business environment, mastering new skills is a necessity. And the words fast-moving and competitive, which describe the nature of the world we live in today, emphasize the little time we have to get things done lest we become stale and shoved far behind. There are some general rules you can follow. Irrespective of the fact that the skill you want to learn and the person who you are will determine your learning technique, whether you desire to learn how to analyze data, use social media better, or improve at public speaking, you can accomplish your learning goals and gain new insight on how to approach learning new skills when you understand the importance of learning new skills and explore a few tips to learn better and faster. Why you should learn a skill. Successful people stick to their promise of learning rather than vegging out in front of the television. They dedicate their spare time in the pursuit of learning Learning, and they stay committed to that. Do you even know those who are best at learning new skills are those who consistently succeed? If you doubt this, just think of some of the world's most successful people. Without mincing words, learning a new skill is an amazing way to leverage your spare time in the upcoming year. You can enhance your knowledge base, expand your professional networks, and beef up your opportunities for career advancement when you stay committed to learning something new. Why is it difficult to learn a skill? One of the beautiful things about difficulties is that they help us to improve improve our ability to remember, comprehend, and learn because they facilitate encoding and retrieval of processes, and this validates why difficulties are noted to be desirable. Speaking of why people find it difficult to learn a new skill, at times, it's actually a normal thing. It's not pretty much a big deal because whenever you're embarking on a new thing, it's like setting out for an adventure. Of course, there will be some changes and new connections between neurons because a specific part of your brain is about to get rewired. Sounds funny or clumsy? Well, it isn't. The simple science is that when you make things more difficult and challenge yourself, you open yourself up to a new change that may shake you a bit. However, do you ever wonder why some people learn something today and in the next few hours they're blank? Have you ever tried to master something and you feel you're doing great at it? until you have to do that thing and you realize that you're blank. Many of us have experienced this at a point in time, and one of the reasons why this happens is because the learning conditions we are used to were too easy, and the simple thing we need to do to overcome this for our subsequent learning is to work on improving our learning by practicing smarter. Identify what works for you and stick to it. You may want to use effective methods, such as spaced repetition, increasing your interval between the repetitions when you're first learning something, variation in complexity, checking if your performance can be affected by varying the weather, the rules, the distractions, the environment, the exercises, or other elements. Basically, purposely challenging yourself to see your stance or retrieval. Before you ask anybody for help, try your best to remember that thing. How long does it take to learn a skill? Most of us are haunted by the possibility of not doing something better, and this thought often prevents us from getting engaged in something new. We have no choice but to quit and find something else to do just to get rid of that feeling of angst. However, one thing we often miss out on is that we don't know that we can benefit from huge increases in a skill when we give in a little persistence while we're experiencing the usual challenges during the early hours of trying something new. In a very short period, you can experience dramatic improvements if you persist and practice intelligently. Picking up new skills extremely quickly is quite easy for the brain for it's optimized for such a task. Take note that the 10,000 hours of mastering a skill is nothing but an illusion because it takes only 20 20 hours to move from knowing nothing to being pretty good. Types of skill. Hard skills, also known as technical skills, and soft skills are the two major types of skills. For optimal performance and advancements in most jobs, both skills are necessary, and it's recommended that you possess the two. Speaking of hard skills, these are the skills you gain through any life experience via training or technical knowledge. For example, you may be able to speak a new language fluently if you studied a foreign language. You may know how to use Microsoft Excel if you've taken an accounting class. You may know how to use a point-of-sale system if you've worked in food service or retail. Some of the most in-demand hard skills include programming languages like Ruby, Java, Python, and Perl, storage systems and management, marketing campaign management, user interface design, mobile development, data mining, statistical analysis, SEO, SEM marketing, network security, Adobe software suite, database management, bilingual or multilingual. On the other hand, if you're still searching for work, 
you'll find soft skills to be very essential for your career because they're the traits and personal habits that frame your interaction and work relation with others and how you work. Some of the most in-demand soft skills include empathy, willingness to learn, organization, adaptability, critical thinking, problem solving, creativity, teamwork, open-mindedness, effective communication, dependability, integrity. Top skills you should develop. To start with, no skill is useless, and whatever it is that you're able to get your hands on, make sure you work on it, groom it, nurture it, and keep it growing. However, if you're looking for a job, these are some of the skills recruiters are always after. Number one, business acumen or commercial awareness. For someone who's in the business field, you're expected to bring something to the table. You should be able to provide insight on how your prospective company can compete in its marketplace and the changes it can make to achieve higher sales. You should know what makes a company tick and be cognizant of how a business or industry works. Number two, communication. Since we're all social creatures and no man can exist on his own without interacting with others, communication skills are then a priority. Some people don't know how to relate with people or even express themselves clearly and better. And this is why communication is a skill. You should be able to listen and as well send your message to the audience in a focused, concise, and clear manner. Critical for success in any occupation, communication helps you to efficiently and effectively present and receive information. And it encompasses writing, observation, actively listening, and speaking clearly. Number three, teamwork. This can also be an interpersonal skill. Can you work with others? The organization or company is a group of people. Every company, business, or organization has a set of goals and business objectives that demand positive working relationships. So learn to be a team player. Number four, negotiation and persuasion. How convincing can you be? In the business world where things can be a bit bloody, being able to negotiate and persuade is a top skill that will always help you sell and achieve your goals. Number five, problem solving. The thing is, no company wants a liability. If you're a problem solver, then you're an asset because the board will be quick to call you to ask for your suggestions or opinions whenever there's an impending crisis that needs to be attended to urgently. Learning to be able to approach problems from different angles and resolving issues and solving problems with a logical and analytical approach is a top skill. Number six, leadership. You don't need to be in the top position before you can lead. Even if you have the lowest ranking at your place of work or you're the youngest in your family, you still have a chance to exercise leadership because leadership is not constrained to positions specifically or a set of people. Leadership starts with leading by a good example, setting deadlines, assigning and delegating tasks, doing what needs to be done at the right time, motivating teams, and even doing more than you were expected to do. Number seven, organization. You need to be organized because this is what shows your employer if you can meet deadlines and focus and get things done. You must learn to manage your time well, work efficiently and productively, and prioritize. Number eight, perseverance and motivation. In life, there will be several challenges you'll face. While some will shake you very hard, some will just brush you off a little bit. But the beautiful thing about these challenges is that they help us to become better and wiser. However, how you cope with these challenges is determined by how much you can persevere and motivate yourself not to give up. Are you the kind that gives up when the going gets tough or you're someone who tries to stay cheerful and even wear a smile when you're passing through difficulties? It could be tough. Trust me. I know. However, as long as we're still living, there's hope and we can't give up. No, not yet. Number nine, ability to work under pressure. Many tend to feel torn apart when they're under pressure. Your ability to not feel too stressed or overwhelmed and keep calm in a crisis is a top-notch skill. Number 10, confidence. You need to exert confidence in who you are, the company you work for, and your colleagues. True confidence is the absence of pride and arrogance. And this is why confidence is a skill because not everyone can be confident without being cocky or arrogant. There are a host of other skills that can boost your career, and they include basic coding, data analysis and statistics, digital literacy, foreign language, project management, public speaking, social media and digital marketing, speed reading, video and audio production, web development, adaptability, creative thinking, reading, Photoshop, productivity, self-management. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.